What's happening guys, I'm from Techsaurus. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 154, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys wanna submit your setup to get featured, make sure to watch the video linked down below. But with that said, welcome to Setup Wars episode 154. Kicking off the episode is this gorgeous setup from Bent, who lives in the Netherlands. So he uses it for gaming, video, and photo editing, along with some 3D design. He's rocking a 29-inch ultrawide from LG as the main monitor, and he's got a 23-inch on the side, which he probably uses for photo editing. On the desk, we got the Corsair K70 Lux RGB keyboard with the M65 Pro RGB mouse. And it's interesting to see that he routed both the wires using a cable raceway on the desk. I mean, even this approach looks cleaner than just running the wires across the desk. I respect the fact that Bent did not want to drill a hole for the cables, but he did come up with a different solution for hiding the wires. So I will give him points for that. I don't necessarily agree with the location of the Xbox controller and the phone, but it's not a big deal. Now for audio, he's using the Logitech Z333 speakers, but he's also using some headphones as well. We got the Razer Krakens and the Audio-Technica M50Xs, which are chilling on the desk. Now, obviously, I would recommend a headphone hanger for both of them. I mean, it's kind of the staple of setup boards at this point. This one from Anchor has a spot for two headphones, and it only goes for $12. Just slap it under your desk and keep your headphones on there when you're not using them. It will definitely help clean up your setup a lot. I'll drop a link below if anyone wants to check it out. The rest of the cable management is pretty good. The net underneath the desk is holding up most of the cables, and it looks like he added a spiral sleeve for some of the wires going down towards the sub. It's not the cleanest cable work. I do see a lot of loose wires hanging down on the left side. What you can do with those is by using these cable clips and hook them against the desk, and it will pretty much prevent the cables from sagging down. The PC powering the setup has an i5-7500, 8 gigs of RAM, and the GTX 1060. If you're using your PC for a lot of 3D design or video editing work, I strongly recommend throwing in another 8 gigs of RAM for a total of 16. Your board does have two extra DIMM slots, so I would make use of that only if you're using the PC for heavy editing, because I feel like 8 gigs of RAM just isn't enough. The build also looks really clean. I feel like if you added a white backplate to the GPU, it would look even better. Make sure to check out V1 Tech and their awesome backplates if you're interested. Your setup has come a long way from before, just using a laptop and a single monitor to this. It's a very clean setup with purpose, and I feel like with some minor tweaks, I'm confident you can make this even better. Thank you, Bent, for entering. Jules is up next from Germany and his setup that he uses for gaming, editing, live streaming, and photo editing. Okay. He's using a kitchen countertop from Ikea with some capital legs as a riser on top of two Alex drawers. He's rocking two 24-inch monitors that are hooked up against the wall, and I like how he covered the wires going across the wall. Looks like he used some sort of tube or raceway to route the cables. Very nice. He didn't drill a hole for the keyboard and mouse because he said in the notes that he's eventually going to switch to a wireless setup, which is understandable. He's got a pair of Bose Companion 3 speakers on the desk and the HyperX Cloud headset hanging underneath it. He also uses a microphone, which he hooked up to a boom arm, but I'm curious why he extended it all the way up if he's not using it. I much prefer folding the arm and hiding the mic behind the monitor because, I mean, it just looks weird this way, doesn't it? Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Cable management is really clean. It looks like all the cables are hidden behind the drawers, and down here he's got a few things for easy access, like a few USB hubs and his remote for RGB lighting. The PC powering the setup has an 8700K, 16 gigs of RAM, and the MSI GTX 970, and that's pretty much it. Not much else to the setup. It's very clean and straightforward. Thank you, Jules, for entering. Lazarus is up next from Greece and his awesome modded water-cooled PC desk. Even though he sent me potato pictures, I decided to feature this anyways because it's such a dope desk setup. So he's got a single 24-inch monitor that's hooked up on the wall with a raceway to hide the cables, and below that, ladies and gentlemen, is a custom-made all-glass desk that's mounted against the wall. The keyboard and mouse are both from Cooler Master, and he's rocking a pair of Logitech Z333 speakers. Uh, surprisingly, he's not using a headset with this setup. So on the left side is where the main components are located. We got the motherboard, the CPU, RAM, and even the GTX 1050 Ti with a single 360mm radiator. And on the other side is where the pump, reservoir, and the other 360mm radiator is at. Obviously, he's a fan of Razer, not because of the color scheme, but because of the obvious Razer plaque he created. 
Also, if you look closely, you can see that he skinned the reservoir in black carbon fiber. It's really interesting to see something this high-end on a low-budget PC. It almost seems like a waste of money to me. I feel like the water cooling parts cost more than the actual PC itself. I mean, at least he didn't go with a GPU block, so that's good. I'm guessing he's saving enough money to buy a more powerful GPU and water cool that as well. This is a very unique PC desk setup, and it's been a while since I've seen one of these on Setup Wars, but Lazarus, I hope you get to upgrade that GPU at one point and throw that in the loop as well. Once you do, feel free to submit your new setup pictures. Thank you for entering. At number four is Stan Lerd from New Jersey and his setup for gaming and photography work. So he's rocking dual monitors that are mounted on the desk and it's interesting that he went with two mounts instead of one. So on the desk, we got the Corsair K95 RGB keyboard with the Asus ROG Spatha mouse and the Tartarus keypad from Razer. I don't know where he got that dope mouse pad from, but I'm loving it. The white caps give off a nice contrast between the keyboard and the mouse pad. I also love how you drill a hole on the desk for cable management and added a cover so it looks a lot cleaner. By the way, if I find out where that mouse pad is from, I'll drop a link below, but feel free to help me out if you guys find it faster than me. All right, so for audio, he's rocking the Bose Companion 5 speakers and the Corsair Void RGB headset. I do like the placement of the boom arm holding his microphone. It's not on the actual desk, but on the monitor mount itself. Very nice. Cable management is neat, thanks to both the Signum racks, and I like how he zip tied the power strip underneath the rack. That's actually a really great idea if you don't have any extra space on the rack itself. If you're watching this video and have the same issue, feel free to use this hack to solve your problem. The PC powering this setup is a beautiful beast. It's a water-cooled build with the 7700K, 32 gigs of the Trident Z RGB RAM sticks, and the Strix 1080 Ti. Really amazing job on all the custom work, from the acrylic panels on the sides of the PC, to the PSU shroud, and even the decals across all the parts. The attention to detail is just amazing. Even the case has been modded for better airflow. The cutouts in the front, as well as the extra vents on the top, contribute to better airflow. Really awesome work. But I gotta say, the icing on the cake definitely has to be the five-piece mural of Attack on Titans on the wall. This is a well-balanced, gorgeous setup, and I think that Steinler did an awesome job putting it together and keeping it very contrasty. Thank you for entering. Wrapping up the episode is Yuri from Israel and his setup for gaming and music production. By the way, I'll drop a link to his SoundCloud below if you guys wanna check it out and show him some support. His PC is the first thing that caught my eye, I'm not gonna lie, it's gorgeous, but we'll get to that in a bit. So the setup itself is pretty heavy. There's a lot of things going on here, but he did keep it very organized. We got a gaming ultrawide monitor from Asus, the Corsair K95 Platinum keyboard, and the MM800 RGB Polaris mouse pad. There's a few other things on the desk, like his Focusrite audio interface, a MIDI keyboard, and some statues. I mean, he still has some extra space on the desk, so it's not really that cramped. This is a music production setup, so you better expect his audio game to be on point. He's rocking a pair of Yamaha HS7 speakers that are mounted against the wall, and underneath the setup, he's got the Sennheiser HD650s and the M50Xs. Now, since he used capital legs to raise the desk above the drawers, he did manage to squeeze a few extra things in here, like the PS4 Pro and his router. The setup doesn't have a lot of cables, but the Signum is there to help out with what he's got. All right, now the custom water-cooled PC inside a modded Corsair 570X case. It's rocking a 6900K, 64 gigs of RAM, wow, and the Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti. I'm just loving the mods inside the case. You got the rear fan cover with the custom backplate on the sound card, not the GPU, but the actual sound card has a backplate, that's crazy, and the custom power supply shroud with the Asus ROG logo. I also love that he went with red coolant to make the PC pop. Just beautiful work and a beautiful setup. Thank you, Yuri, for entering. So that's it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup and announce the winners on my Twitter and InstaFail accounts. Make sure you guys are following me there if you are interested. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'll see your faces in the next one.